Um, so it was overweight, uh, lethargic, trouble with um, life really, in the, in the sense that um, couldn't do day to day things. And for me it was motivation, so going into a gym not actually knowing really what to go, what to start off with, what to end with. Uh, what to actually lift, what weight to actually lift. That was one of the biggest uh, point, uh, pinch points for me really, um, being able to actually go in there not knowing what to do. Uh, it's like a family, you feel like you're friends with everyone, you see the same people, you can socialise with them and talk with them. Um, it's just totally different to being at a normal mainstream gym. <laughs> And exactly the same for me, it was, it's actually being able to sort of like go in there with friends, um, everybody's in the same place, uh, everybody really wants to be able to actually both work out, also have the little bit of social time and not feel under that constraint of people rushing you off the machine to actually just go get their sets in. It's, it, it's the, great, uh, the great thing of actually being in a family. Uh, so I had one-to-one -one sessions with Harry um, and it wasn't until everything started sinking in um, with calories and knowing what I was doing, knowing what I was lifting um, and being able to do it sort of on my own so they weren't as, as guided as they used to be was then when I realised I'm in the right place and doing the right thing. And for me it was beating targets, um, so actually going in there, working out how to set a target, uh, which what would be sort of like the most realistic to do, not just going in there and saying oh I, I want to lift 300 kilos in one go, uh, but gradually getting up to that stage. Um, uh, one of the biggest ev uh, events was actually lifting a triple digit on a squat, so that was one of the biggest achievements so far. It's the motivation to keep you going. You might come in the gym and you've had a really bad day at work or something's gone on at in your personal life and you don't want to be here, but the motivation from, the, uh, from Harry and Hugo and everyone who comes to try and with you when there's only five or six people in the gym uh, just spurs you on to do it and then when you leave, you feel like that thing wasn't a major problem. <laughs> And exactly the same, it was uh, being able to sort of like go in there even after having a really rough day, everybody's in the same boat, people have had come in with rough days, people have come in feeling rough from the night before, um, we won't go into too much detail there but that was the, uh, that was kind of a few things especially on the Monday mornings, uh, being able to actually work through that kind of pain um, and then coming come out feeling refreshed, feeling ready for the day or feeling like you've actually had a really successful day despite everything else. That's what life looks like now, your problems have been solved. So life for me, I've lost three stone um, with the boys and we're about to start our fertility journey which was why we came originally. Um, so yeah, it's a whole new life for us now outside of fitness studio. For me, it's the guidance. So, and, and being a woman in a, in a gym outside of this environment is totally different to being here. The um, males picture you in a different way when you go to a, another gym uh, and quite often I'd go to the ladies area whereas here yeah okay the nurse kicked in when you first come it's two men training you but they're not like two men that you'd go and train with at Pure Gym or the village or anywhere else in the area um, and being small and friendly is what made it a lot easier. And the idea of actually having five people in a session, even though it actually feel it is a group session, it still feels like you're actually still having that one-to-one -one experience. Yeah. So despite the fact that you could go into a gym with 30 plus people, you don't really feel like you're in place there with anybody else. But then you go into 46, you've actually got Harry or Hugo there guiding you through, um, watching to make sure that obviously you're both practicing safe, you're practicing securely, and you're actually pushing against uh, sort of like your own personal targets. That's one of the best things about 46. Um, so I'd describe my journey to them and how it's been, how I felt when I first came, um, and to just do be, take that step through the door and try it. Um, and if it's really not for you, then it's really not for you, but 
I don't think most people would turn around and go somewhere else. It's the place to be if you want that one-to-one -one feel but not feel pressured.